Let's turn our attention to the forecast. We have a lot going on this weekend. Friday night football, big home game for the Mox on Saturday afternoon at 1.30. And David Carnes, we're hoping for a good forecast here. DC, I see no problems with anything that you have planned this weekend. A uh, football game, walking around the neighborhood, going out and checking out some of the beautiful fall foliage. Check this, this was a new one on me. This is Obed Wild and Scenic View. Obed Wild and Scenic View. Uh, you travel up the interstate, it's near uh, Pigeon Forge, kind of west of Pigeon Forge. Beautiful uh, national park up there. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say park. I don't know if it's state or national, but it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. So check that out if you're looking for a cool place to go. Uh, Philma Uselton, thank you for letting us know about it. And you can send pictures to weather at local3news.com and we'll try to get some of those on beautiful fall uh, fall colors out there right now. Awesome weekend ahead. We're looking forward to it. A warm start to next week as well. And then I see a few showers during the middle of next week. I don't think it's going to be a drenching, but we may see some showers with a weak front moving through. Whatever rain we get is going to be welcome. Look at this. Uh, this is the percentage of normal rainfall over the last 30 days. We've only seen 17% of our normal rainfall in the past 30 days near Chattanooga, and that's pretty much repeated everywhere in the 17, 12, 22, percent you get the idea and because of that lack of rainfall uh, we are looking at now either moderate to even severe drought conditions up and down the interstate uh, from Chattanooga all the way up into Athens McMinn County looking at severe drought conditions there so we certainly do need the rainfall uh, but again even this rain in the middle of next week I don't think it's going to be anything to really provide us much in the way of relief 61 degrees right now in Chattanooga 61 Cleveland Dalton as well 60 in Murphy and 55 uh, up toward Altamont take a look to the west though you can see much warmer weather. We're at 74 Little Rock. Tulsa is at 75. That warmer air is what we're going to have moving eastward over the Tennessee Valley. So we will see it uh, much warmer tomorrow afternoon by about 5 to 10 degrees. So our sky watchers here at Local 3, we made it up to 60, 62 in East Brainerd. 54, that was it on top lookout mountain. 55 flat top, so temperatures running about 5 degrees cooler in the mountains. 63 Cleveland and 53 in Mont Eagle. We hit 64 though in Riceville. 66 Chatsworth, 63 3 Unica, 56 in Athens, and 60 in the great city of Spring City. Our future cast not showing much out there for your Thursday night. Go and enjoy it. Friday looks about the same, but notice this high to our south. That's going to begin to shoot in these south south uh, westerly winds, and that is the warm flow of air that we're going to be seeing sliding in. So expect that through Saturday, Sunday, and even into next week, that southerly wind flow. We'll have partly cloudy skies over the weekend. Some rain showers off to the east, but they will stay to the east. Even on Monday, we're looking at uh, cloudy clouds may be increasing Monday night. I'll call it partly to mostly cloudy on Monday. Uh, the rain chance not great Tuesday. I'm putting it at 10%. And then as we move into Wednesday, that's when we may see this front. And again, this front is still trying to make up with its mind with when it's going to move through and how potent it will be in terms of rainfall and cooler weather. Right now, it looks like a lot of the cooler weather is going to mitigate, so it won't cool down that much with this front. But I do at this point think we'll have at least a few midweek showers squeezed out of the atmosphere and on the back side of it, we may see a shower or two lingering into Thursday morning. Tonight, though, clear skies. Not as cold, but don't get me wrong, you'll still need to bundle the kids up tomorrow morning for school. 36 Chattanooga, it'll drop down to 32 in Cleveland. Dalton, uh, 28 Murphy and 30 in Blue Ridge. So some spotty areas of frost of possibility tomorrow. Not widespread like we had this morning, though. Mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon. Uh, warmer, perfect outdoor weather, 71 degrees. And if that's still not warm enough for you, uh, well, we can crank it up to 72 in Scottsdale tomorrow afternoon and then here in the Tennessee Valley 74 Saturday 76 Sunday and look at those morning lows in the mid 40s uh, we'll even climb up to 77 on Monday and Tuesday again our best chance for rain is going to be Wednesday I will put in a 10% chance on Tuesday and again on Thursday but it really looks like Wednesday is going to be our best bet for seeing some rain showers and again that is desperately needed but we're not going to think about that we're going to think about the awesome weekend that lay ahead